So how do you express 0 0.83 with 3 being repeating as a fraction? That's the question. So, okay, so we have to have 0 0.83 and 3 is repeating, right? So now if you go back to this question, right, we said only one number was repeating, right? And it's just the tenth place value. So just go back to middle school. What is this place value? This is T-E-N-T-H, right? This is the tenth um, place value, right? And over here, this is actually the hundred. So with the TH, remember? So the TH would represent any number that is after the decimal point. So that's your place value. And if you're looking at 0 0.3, the one that's repeating is actually the 10th place value over here, which is exactly um, after the decimal point. So now that it's 100, right, that means instead of having 10, right, you need to move this twice because your decimal number that is repeating is on the 100th place value, therefore you're going to move this right two times, right? That's why it's 100. So let's do that. Okay, so this is 100x, right? Does that make sense? So now that this is 100x, therefore this is going to be 83.3. So you want, so the goal here of multiplying 10x and 100x is to basically bypass your decimal number that is repeating, right? That's why you have 0 0.83 and you want to move two places to the right. That's why it's twice because there's two zeros and to the right because you're multiplying. That's why it's 83.3 now, right? So now you're going to think, okay, so how do I get rid of this three over here, right? Does that make sense? So for me to get rid of this three over here, I would just have to move the decimal point to the right once because in that way, I would get 8.3, right? So when I subtract this from 8.3, it gets rid of this and this. So I get a whole number. Does that make sense? So yeah, um, this type of question, you just have to look at the number and kind of see how it would get rid of the decimal number that's repeating. Okay, great. So that would be 10x, right? So we have 10x because when you move this here, you would get 8.3 and that's repeating at 3, right? So when I write this up, I would have 100x minus 10x, which is equal to 83.3 repeating minus 8.3 repeating, right? So if I take this number and this number, I subtract them together, let's see you would get 83.3 minus 8.3, that would give you 75, right? So this is actually 90x and this is equal to 75. Dividing both sides with 90. So 75 divided by 90. This is x is equal to 5 over 6, right? Yeah, so x is equal to 5 over 6. So now that you know that x is equal to 5 over 6, right, that means the equivalent of 0 0.83 repeating is actually 5 over 6. And when you, when you actually do get the chance, right, if you divided 5 with 6, you're going to get 0 0.8333 and so on and so forth, right? So this is your answer. Okay, let's go back to the question and see what they wrote. Okay, so they took 10x and you have 8.3, which is right. Yeah, which is 5 over 6. Yeah, so exactly the same um, answer and solution base of, of mine. But again, I would appreciate if they would explain and elaborate more as to why we're using 10x now as opposed to just x, right? And again, we wanted to get, get rid of that repeating number at the end, right? So we can express that into a fraction.